Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at how to make coffee with the little guy. Shall we begin? So if you guys haven't heard of the little guy, uh, basically it's a redesign of the old atomic espresso um, stovetop makers. Um, so you can make yourself a really nice sort of uh, latte or flat white. You can um, texture milk with a steam nozzle as well. Um, it makes an amazing coffee. It's a passion project by Craig Huron, and I've actually uh, met Craig a couple of times, um, and he's just so passionate about what he does, trying to make better coffee and, and really um, show people that you can make amazing um, coffee on his equipment. So let's go straight ahead and make a coffee, and I'll show you what it's all about. All right, so we have everything we need here to make a great cup of coffee. We've got the little guy, or as mine is known, the Otto. Uh, I got this fairly early on before I had the name change. But we've got the little guy here, and we've got the um, induction top heater. Um, I used to use this on gas, and I, I got pretty good coffee out of it. But since I've switched to the uh, induction top, um, that's designed specifically for brewing the Otto, um, I've had a lot more success. Um, so I'm going to use that today. Nice setup here. Um, so the thing with this, with the little guy is it's about um, bringing ritual back to making coffee. Um, and that's what um, Craig said you know, early on, is he wanted to um, bring that passion back to um, your cup. So we're gonna follow a few steps. The thing with the little guy is you have to get these steps right and um, do them in order to get that good cup of coffee. So first of all, we're just gonna fill it up with water. And once you fill it up just to the bottom of the, uh, the bottom of the edge there, we use this here to lock it in. Water. Nice and tight. Now traditionally, uh, the little guy used to have um, a grind size um, finer than espresso. But I've also heard that if you um, want to use your espresso grind that you've got set up for your main grinder, uh, you can dose up, um, tamp down, and then refill with more grinds, and then tamp again. And this um, heavier dose is going to um, give you a good extraction. So I'm going to do that today. So you can see because it's a very deep porter filter, when I've tamped that down, there's actually quite a bit of room left. Um, so I'm going to try that technique of refilling, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've dosed that um, back up, tamp it down one more time. Clean up the edges as you normally would. Now I'm going to lock this in. A couple of tips and tricks for the uh, little guy. Make sure you before you get everything started, because the uh, little guy does get quite hot once you start brewing, um, that you get everything in a good position. If you're going to want to be texturing milk, just make sure the seam arm's in a good position for you to use. Um, then we lock it in. Pop it in until it's straight there. Turn them on and just press the auto setting. There he is, starting to drip, drip, drip away. So, a typical little guy extraction uh, is quite syrupy and it should take about, I believe the range is sort of 40 to 50 seconds. So it's a longer extraction than a traditional espresso. Now you have to let this full extraction happen before you're gonna have enough steam pressure to texture the milk. Um, and what I usually do is after I've got a, a good extraction going on, I actually switch out um, my cup with my extraction in it and just let it over extract um, into a secondary um, vessel and that's going to make sure that I have enough steam pressure um, to get my textured milk happening. Alright so my extraction is coming on nicely. Um, it's dripping a little bit slower than before so perhaps with my um, dosing technique I've dosed a little bit too much. Um, so I'm going to pull it out here because I don't want to um, have over extracted coffee in my shot. 
So I'm just gonna make this switch here. See the base of my shot there. I'm just going to um, purge this. And you'll see that there's more than enough um, steam here. because it's not a cool touch. So if you don't clean it off, um, it will just bake onto the um, steam one. There you go, so in case you're wondering, latte art, definitely uh, doable. And there we have uh, the little guy. Cheers guys, that's the little guy for you. So there you go guys, that's the little guy, uh, stove top espresso maker, uh, makes great coffee. And uh, I think for its price point, um, certainly better than any sort of espresso machine at, its, um, at a similar price point. Um, so if you're looking to make great coffee at home, why don't you check out uh, the little guy on Facebook uh, or their website. Let's take a look now at uh, the winner for last week's Freeport Friday. Hey, congratulations and great latte art. You go into the draw to win the Coffee Fusion t-shirt for March. Um, remember guys, if you haven't participated in Freeport Friday already, it happens every Friday on the Facebook page. Uh, so go and like Coffee Fusion on Facebook and then you can participate next week. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Coffee Fusion. Remember, if you haven't already, like Coffee Fusion on Facebook, follow The Coffee Fusion on Instagram and remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember, Coffee Fusion is bringing coffee lovers together. So straight away, when you finish pulling your shot, uh, knock out your puck straight away. And the first thing you want to do is wipe out your portafilter.